Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easy. So this is the second video in my Angular for Beginner series. And if you guys haven't watched the first video, then I will leave a link in the description box down below, like always. And it should also be coming up in the i button right now. In my first video, I just covered the basics of Angular, what it is, etc. So definitely check that one out first. But for now, in this video, I will be teaching you guys how to create your first Angular project, how to set it up in Visual Studio Code. I will also be walking you guys through how to install Node and NPM and explain what those are. Um, I will teach you how to install the Angular CLI and finally how to create your first Angular application, which is really, really exciting and actually really interesting as well. And then finally, I will be teaching you guys how to compile and run your project in your browser where you can test and see what changes you made and what your app is looking like. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to do all of that, then please keep on watching. So you guys, the first thing you guys need to do is install Visual Studio Code onto your machines. And this is pretty straightforward. And really really easy to do but if you guys want me to make a tutorial on explaining how to do that then please let me know by leaving a comment down below and I will be happy to make it for you guys but for now once we have Visual Studio Code installed we can move on to installing Node and NPM onto our machines okay so to install Node onto our machines I basically just type that into Google install node.js and this is what comes up. So after installing node, we are going to be installing npm and npm basically stands for node package manager and this is what allows us to install various packages. So basically you guys, Angular framework is built on node.js which we're about to install right now. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this website. Now I'll leave a link to this website in the description box down below in case you guys want to go and install Node if you haven't already done so. So as you guys can see on this page, you will be presented with options and depending on your operating system, you're gonna choose which one to install. So if you guys have Windows, then you have to install this one and then you have to also choose if it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit system and same goes for if you guys have Mac the process is exactly the same so I have Windows and I have a 64-bit system so I'm gonna choose that option so I'm just gonna let this download happen in my downloads folder and click on save and I had a previous one already so let's just ignore that so once our download has been completed just click onto that and it should take us to the installation so it's telling us to wait so now you guys can see the welcome page has appeared i'm going to click on next and then read through this agreement and I'm going to click on accept and then next. Here it just shows you the location of where it will be installed. So on my computer it's going to be installed in the C drive in a folder called program files and if I ever want to look for it it will be in a folder called node.js. So again I'm going to click on next so you guys, this page is actually really, really important. As you guys can see that NPM or the Node Package Manager is actually a part of the Node installation, which is great. So we don't need to go do that separately. So it comes and gets installed within Node.js. So that's a great thing we have. And I'm gonna click on next again. Here it gives you another option to compile from C++ or C if you want to be able to install such mod modules. Um, so I'm just going to click on the automatically install the necessary tools one and click on next again. 
Now what you guys would do is just click on install and go ahead and finish the installation process. But I already have Node.js on my machine so I'm just going to click on cancel whereas you guys will go ahead and finish the installation. So you guys to double check if you have Node installed onto your machine successfully you can go into the terminal from your Visual Studio code. So you're going to see a terminal option up here. You click on new terminal. Also, you could just press Control and Shift and the quotation mark key and it does the same thing. Um, you can also do it through command prompt and that's how I'm going to show you. So you, the only thing you need to do is put in node and then you put a space dash V and this should tell you the version of node that is that is installed in your machine and how you can check if it if it isn't installed it'll probably give you an error message saying this doesn't exist so here we can see that i have version 12 installed onto my machine so this is a quick way of double checking which version you have on your machine and also if it is installed or if it isn't so you guys, let's go ahead and run node in our terminal. So therefore we can begin to install the Angular CLI, which in simplicity just stands for command line interface. And so let's go ahead, click on terminal and then new terminal. So here we have our new terminal opened and the Angular CLI is great because it allows you to use commands to modify Angular code and create new projects, etc. I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to do that later on in this video. So let's begin by typing in npm space install and then a space again and g. I'll be talking you through what g and everything else stands for in a minute. Then you need to put another space at angular forward slash cli at latest so you guys might be confused and i will break down each part and explain to you guys what this means so you guys we're using the node package manager to install g basically stands for global so the angular cli will be installed globally and then by putting in at latest what this will do is get the latest version for you so you actually don't need to look this up and find it yourself this command makes your life easier and cuts down the work for you so i'm going to press enter this command is simply what you use to install the angular cli so we now just need to wait for the installation process to be completed So there we have it you guys. You can see that it has been added. Since I already had this installed in my machine, it only updated one package. But you guys might see something that's a little bit different to that. So that's great, it has been installed. We can now use Angular commands that allows us to create new projects. We can even modify them. So that's the first half of the video completed. So in this last part of the video, you guys, I will finally be showing you guys how to create a first basic Angular app using this CLI that we just installed. So in the terminal, like always, we are going to put in the command ng space new and then the name of the project that you choose to make. So this can be any name you want relating to your projects. In my case, I'm just going to call this my first Angular or Ang app. Again, you can change this to whatever you guys want. And then just click enter. So then you guys were, are going to be presented with a couple of options before it goes on and creates your application. Now the first question we see here is would you like to add angular routing and you can say y for yes or again you can type in yes and then the same thing goes for no n or you can simply type in no in my case i'm going to choose yes so i'm just going to type that in 
now it's going to ask you what style sheet format you guys want to use so you can go ahead and select from all of these you can go with the css css it totally depends on what you guys want to choose i am going to go with scss because that's the one that i always use with angular so go ahead and you can choose this by moving your arrow keys up and down and then clicking on enter on the option that you guys want so now we're just gonna have to wait for it to create our project and finish installing all the packages so you guys once our project has been created you guys want to open this inside of your visual studio code and i've already done this i'll quickly show you guys how to do that you're gonna go into file so this option on the top left hand corner you're gonna click on open folder and here as you guys can see when i was creating my project it was inside of my c drive and inside a folder called users and inside another folder and here you can see i can locate my application so first my first angular app i'm going to click on that and click on select folder and as you guys can see this opens up my project in visual studio code you guys just need to make sure that you know where it's located so keep an eye out for that so you guys we've basically just successfully created a new project using the angular cli and also opened it in visual studio code now here you can see things like e2e you guys don't need to know about this for now but it's just for end-to-end -end testing we have node modules which we installed in the cli and the one that we're actually interested in is the source folder so now you guys we are going to go into app and so in this basic project um, by default we only have one component but again when you want to add new components you can do that through your cli again that's really really easy to do and i will show you guys how to do that in my upcoming videos but now the one we're actually interested in is our html file and we have some css code or a css code in this first and then we have our html code so you guys let's get into the fun part of this video let's go ahead and actually run this or compile this code in our browser so again i've opened up a new terminal just went into terminal clicked on new and this time notice that this is inside of the project that we just created and you guys need to make sure that this is the same for you guys or else you won't be able to compile your projects so even if it isn't um then make sure that you get inside your project now we're gonna put in the command ng space serve and click enter to compile our project so let's just wait and see so you guys can see that it has successfully been compiled and you can access this on your local host port 4200 i'm just going to copy and paste this into my browser if you've used um, programming languages such as ionic then you guys would know that this actually opens up by default you don't actually need to go and copy and paste so you guys this is really really cool our first project is successfully compiled and running in our browser on localhost 4200 and this is actually in real time and this code actually comes by default when you create your first angular project now if you guys want to see a change in real time let's do that really really quickly so i'm going to go into my typescript file as you can see that this is my first angular app here it says that in this string 
So let's change this to see if our title gets changed in here. So I'm going to change this to hello and click on save. You can control S or go into file and save. And as you can see, saving actually means recompiling and serving it again on our on our port so we don't actually need to run that command twice we can see that the change has been made i can see hello app is running over here so that's really cool and this is how you basically compile your project and you can see changes in real time on your port 4200 so that's it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys followed along and understood how to install the angular cli and npm and also how to create and set up a new angular project in visual studio code and then finally how to compile or run your project in your browser and see the changes that you've made in real time now it was a lot to take in and if you're a beginner and if you're confused about anything please feel free to leave any questions or recommendations you guys may have in the comments down below and i will get to them as quick as i can until we code again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to turn on that notification bell as well and i will see you guys in my next video